things descended from our living things. Early living things, 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 I am a little different from you. In bacteria, the main amino acids to which phosphate groups are added are histidine and aspartic acid, although others are possible, such as arginine, and there are even a few kinase enzymes which are similar to those of the eukaryotes and add phosphate groups to serine and threonine amino acids. The regulation of the eukaryotic cell cycle depends on proteins known as cyclins. Even though bacteria do not possess the complexity in cell division seen in eukaryotes, there are proteins homologous to cyclins with a region homologous to the cyclin fold. Thus, it appears that eukaryotes took something already present in bacteria and then incorporated into the regulation of their increasingly complex cell cycle. In humans, abnormal cell growth can be controlled by programmed cell death, or apoptosis, which involves a number of enzymes such as caspases, the release of materials from the mitochondria, and a number of other components. Even though bacteria are unicellular, they can undergo death in culture in order to limit the spread of viruses. And a number of the apoptotic proteins known in higher organisms have homologs in bacteria, such as caspases, toll interleukin receptors, and so many other things. It certainly seems that the mitochondria in eukaryotic cells are the descendants of bacteria which lived endosymbiotically in the first eukaryotes. So thus, perhaps it isn't surprising that bacteria have many homologs of apoptotic proteins given that the descendants of bacteria, the mitochondria, are so essential in apoptotic mechanisms.